Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokendra Kumar and today we will be discussing biotechnology history. I have uh, already made one video where I have discuss, dis, uh, discussed some of the important discoveries in the area of biotechnology. Today I will continue that journey and I will discuss some of the important discoveries down the line in the field of biotechnology. So as you can see on the computer screen that I have discussed some of the discoveries from 1928 to 1997 and let me tell you one thing these are the most important discoveries or inventions in the history of biotechnology. So please stay tuned watch the complete video and I hope that this video is going to help you to understand the biotechnology history in more, much more detail than you already do. So let's get started. So when we talk about the history of biotechnology, the biotechnology term itself seems very very interesting. It's a combination of two important words, biology and technology. And one interesting fact is the term biotechnology is given by, by an engineer. His name, uh, his name was Karoli Erki. He was Hungarian engineer. So the term biotechnology was uh, interestingly giving, given by an engineer who was working in the area of uh, uh, biotechnology. Specifically, uh, you know, he was working in the area which was in between of the technology and biology. So he thought about giving this particular uh, term and he termed this specific area of research biotechnology. And we, when we talk about history, one of the important discoveries that, that, that will come into your mind is the discovery of antibiotics, which was, which was credited uh, to Alexander Fleming in 1928. He was able to find that bacteria can be killed by fungus. One of the chemical factors that is released by a fungus can kill a bacteria. He named it antibiotic. And first antibiotic is, we all know, penicillin. Second, 1942, penicillin mm. was mass produced for the first time. So you can see how slow the process was at that time. First, we were able to identify 1948 and then 1942, we were able to produce it. In 1951, then another area of biotechnology was, uh, was invented, which is artificial insemination. So the research was uh, performed on livestock and using frozen sperms, uh, the scientists, they were able to do artificial insemination. You can see now we are playing with the nature. 1953, this is one of the important discoveries in the history of biology, in, in the history of biotechnology, which is discovery of DNA molecule, uh, structure of the DNA molecule, I must say that which was given by Watson and Crick. They analyzed the, uh, the experimental results and based on that they proposed the model and that was accurate model of the DNA. In 1964, another area of research was getting invented where myoelectric arm was, was being constructed and the research was, uh, was uh, basically the research project was getting carried out in Central Re Prosthetic Research Institute, which is uh, at that particular time was in USSR. So you can see myoelectric arm is one of the important uh, discoveries. And then 1972, since we already discovered the DNA, everyone was interested to finding out what is the role of the DNA. And first important observation that we found that chimpanzees, gorillas, they have 99% similarity with humans. So we were able to now say that uh, these are our ancestors, basically. They are not similar to us, but they do have the genetic, same genetic information, almost 99% similarities. Next. 1975, Kohler and Caesar Milstein, they were able to produce monoclonal antibodies and monoclonal antibodies are one of the important discoveries. They are important in research, they are important in cancer and, and, the, lim and the applications are vast. 1980, first US patent was granted to gene cloning technology for uh, basically taking the gene from one organism 
and put it, putting it inside uh, the other uh, not in the organism but i may say in the dna molecule and the credit was given to cohen and boyer, boyer. next 1983 then polymerase chain reaction this is one of the landmark discoveries in biotechnology where a chemist his name his name was Kerry Millis was able to find out that you can copy the DNA molecule using a simple biological reaction biochemical reaction rather 1997 Dolly was the first sheep that was cloned from two adult sheep cells the team was uh, led by Ian Wilmot at the Rosalind Institute they were able to basically clone the uh, specifically from from a two adult sheep cells can you imagine that just taking two adult sheep cells you can create a full organism that's why this is very very interesting so as you can see here we have discussed some of the important some of the major discoveries uh, or inventions of all time in the area of biotechnology I have already discussed some of the important discoveries and there are so many and I don't know how many I can cover but here I've tried to cover the discovery of antibiotic which was credited to Alexander Fleming in 1928 what he did he was able to find out that fungus can kill bacteria it was a simple observation if you if you have heard the story you'll find out it's a fascinating story where the, the reaction was happening in front of everyone but only one scientist was able to recognize what is actually happening and was able to identify the science behind it. Second, and then we were in the, I must say, in the era of producing penicillin uh, in high quantities. So the mass production of the penicillin was done for the first time in 1942 artificial insemination can you imagine that now we are trying to play with the with the uh, organisms we are trying to control the the birth and the uh, uh, you know growth or the population of the livestock so using frozen sperms we were doing that further when the dna structure was uh, uh, i would say was identified or proposed Watson by Watson and Crick. This was one of the important uh, historical event. Then further you have uh, myoelectric arm research and then understanding the DNA and finding out that human DNA is very very close to chimpanzee and gorilla DNA. Then monoclonal antibodies. I, I must say one thing that monoclonal antibodies they are they are very very uh, you know specific they can target a specific antigen but the problem with monoclonal antibodies they are really expensive and if we can find out a way where we can produce monoclonal antibodies or any other molecules which is similar to monoclonal antibodies and if they are humanoid in nature and we can produce these molecules in relatively low cost that would be one of the important landmark discovery of the current time now we don't have that technology our technology lies whatever we have and then we have monoclonal antibodies that are being produced which are really in in low quantity but highly expensive after that we have gene cloning polymerase chain reaction and then uh, the cloning of of the cloning of the full organism from adult cells so some of these you can see these are these are huge events now we are able to play with the biomolecules that are essentially carrying the information all the information of the living system so now we can decode the information now we can understand and manipulate the information and there are other discoveries after 1997 you should watch my next video where i will be discussing the current landmark discoveries and it i'm sure it is going to go uh, more and more complicated and we will be able to do a lot of things but you can see these things are also dangerous we need to 
have a control over these things otherwise uh, we can we can mess these things up also because we are now dealing with organisms so we have to be very very careful we have to be very very regulated we have to be ethically uh, ethically sound while doing the research related to animals and humans so as you can see we have discussed some of the important landmark discoveries so i hope that uh, this video was helpful for you to understand the history of biotechnology. I'm sorry I just uh, went ahead and discussed all these points in more detail. So I hope that uh, you know it was it was uh, helpful for you to uh, understand what are what are these discoveries and what is the meaning of these uh, uh, specifically some of the important discoveries that we already discussed. And I hope that uh, you know it will help you you in in your exams, uh, in your reports, assignments. And if you have any any questions, you can post your questions in the comment section. I'll be I'll be trying to provide answers as soon as possible. So for now, I'll just rest my video here. I'll meet you in my next video. Till then, take care.